I'm grateful to God for granting us the opportunity to be here today. And as an officer in government, I want to appeal to the people of Nyanza to work with the government of the day. Historically, since independent, we have not had a government that is passionate and committed to tangible development of the Nyanza region as the current government headed by President William Samoy Ruto. On assumption of office, the first project that the president assented to was the Kabonyo Fishing Fish Training Institute at a whopping 3 billion shillings. In this region of Nyanza, we have witnessed high profile appointments into government, today totaling 139. And a substantial proportion of them are from residents of Kisumu here. Governor Haguma is today chairman of SASRA. SASRA is bigger than the banks. A lot of money, more money than the, man, the one in the hands of the bank. Working with Governor Haguma, we need to ensure that all our mothers and sisters are in cooperative societies so that we empower them so that they get their money to do business. Madam Nyamunga here is chair of Postal Corporation of Kenya. Samuel Omao here is director of AFA. And we have so many other sons and daughters of Kisumu who are in this government, among those 139 I've talked about. Within the fishing industry, again, we are setting up fish landing sites along all the beaches around Lake Victoria, starting from Usenge in Siaya, Wichilum, Luanda Kutieno, Assembo Bay, Kindu Bay, Homa Bay, all the way to Mehur in Migori. Fish landing sites so that our fishermen can benefit from refrigeration sites refrigeration site, so that the fish does not go bad. And if we expand also, which is in plan, the Kisumu Airport, we should be able to export, get fish from Lake Victoria and export overseas, to overseas markets directly from Nyanza here. The Homa Bay Airport is also planned for expansion. The, Homa Bay, the, the airport in uh, Migori is also planned for expansion. In the space of water, the Kourou Dam, which had stalled for a long time, is going to be work in progress very soon. The model that was conceptualized for that dam, which envisaged that it will be fully financed by exchequer funding, is not feasible and sustainable within the context of the current economic situation. So we have re-engineered that model so that we go the route of public-private partnership for sustainability and fast-tracking the process of that dam. If that happens, we are going to sort out the perennial flooding problem in Nyando. We are going to facilitate last mile collectivity of water to households. We are going to augment the output of of the Sondu Miriu Dam for purposes of electricity. I want to appeal to the people of Nyanza to support this government. The perennial problem of sugarcane farmers areas that has now been sorted out, fully paid by this government led by William Ruto. We are now moving to the next level of bringing in private sector investors to pump in money into those sugar companies so that they can again attain optimal capacity utilization levels for the benefit of the farmers and the wider community, including but not limited to the community around Miwani and Chemele, which is within this district. So let's work with the government. We did elections in 2022. We are going to go back to elections in 2027. In between here, let us create an enabling environment for the government to deliver on its mandate. The president himself, leading from the front, is fully committed to the development of Nyanza. And that's why this month, on the 28th, he will be opening an international investment conference where we are going to have a critical mass of foreign investors who are keen on pumping money into the economy of Nyanza, informed by the comparative advantages of this region. Please, let's work with this government so that we can realize the tangible development that we have longed for since independence. 